Today's lesson is a continuation of lessons four and lessons five, where we focus on using ratios to solve problems. I'm going to read this problem first. It's very similar to what's on the homework, and we'll reason it out. Students surveyed boys and girls separately to determine which types of music they liked the most. After completing the boys' survey, it was determined that for every four boys who liked pop music, five boys enjoyed rock music. And I'm going to take a second and write down that pop music and rock music. The girl survey found that for every eight girls who liked pop music, one girl liked rock music. The same number of boys and girls were surveyed, and 84 boys liked pop music. How many girls enjoy each type of music? So there's a lot of information in this paragraph. I pulled out that there's pop music and rock music, and I also can see that using those keywords like for every, I know there's some ratios in there. So I'm going to use blue for the boys and purple for the girls. For the boys, there were four for every four boys. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram and partition it into fourths. And then I'm going to take a tape diagram and partition it into fifths for the rock music. Because for every four that like pop, five like rock. And the girls were much more skewed. Eight girls like pop music. but only one girl likes rock music. So we pulled out all of those numbers in the first couple sentences and, and made a diagram. The last sentence now we have to incorporate. We know that the same number of boys and girls were surveyed and that 84 boys like pop music. Now, what the, the reason they, write, they tell us that the same number of boys and girls were surveyed is because it means that these ratios can be um, can be used together. We can take 84 and divide it by 4 and we get 22 or I'm sorry 21 And I know that if the same number of boys were surveyed as girls, we notice that there are nine squares on the boy side, and there are also nine squares on the girl side, meaning that those squares on a tape diagram are worth the same amount. So if one square on the boys one is worth 21, then the same with the girls. They're each worth 21. So now I can count up nine all together. And for rock it's easy. 21 girls like rock. And for pop it's a little more difficult. Not really. We have 8 girls who like pop. So if we take 21 and multiply it by 8 we'll get 168 girls who like pop music. And now we can look back at the question and make sure we've answered it. How many girls enjoy each type of music? Yep, one type of music is here, and the other type of music is here. We've answered the question, and we're all set.